What's up guys, a lot of you asked for a tutorial on how to customize your keyboard, so in this video I'll be showing you step by step on how to do that using the latest tweak. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but yeah, I'll have the link to my Google Drive down below in the description, so you guys can download my template, or if you have one of your own, feel free to use that, just make sure it's for the correct iPhone model that you're using. So yeah, let's get this video started. Alright, so I'm going to try to make this tutorial as short as possible. So first things first is that you want to have Fauza File Manager installed on your device. If you don't already, make sure to download that. The author is TIGI Software, so make sure you get the right one. So once you have Fauza installed, what you want to do next is go to the Google Drive folder that I shared with you guys and the link will be down below in the description for that. Once you're inside that folder, what you want to do next is go to the keyboards and select either iPhone Max or the iPhone X. Depending on the device that you have, I haven't tested out the iPhone X template, so if that doesn't work, let me know and I'll try to fix that. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the iPhone X template. So going into the iPhone X folder, what you want to do is look for these .zip files. And for this case, I'm going to be using the custom black folder, which is the one that you guys have been asking about. So what you want to do next is tap these three dots and scroll down and hit open in. Wait for it to download. And from here, you want to put save to Fauza. So once this pops up, make sure that the file is being saved to the documents folder. So once it says documents up at the top, hit save. Then you should be good to go. So after that, what you want to do is go to Fauza. And when you open up Fauza, it should automatically take you to the documents folder. So from here, we want to look for the file that we just downloaded, which is this one, the custom black. And it should be highlighted in blue. And what you want to do next is hit edit, tap this little dot right here, and then tap move since we are moving the location of the file. From here, we want to go to the root of our device. So the way to do that is you tap this arrow up here on the top left where it says mobile. And you keep tapping that arrow until you see that forward slash. So we're going to go ahead and hit back and then go back again and then again, and then one more time. So once you see that forward slash, that means you're at the root of your device. And from here, what you wanna do is scroll down until you find the library folder. So once you find the library folder, we go into that folder. And from there, we look for the latest folder. So once you find that one, we go into that. And once we're here, you wanna go into the themes. And from here, what you wanna do is tap this icon on the bottom left, and then hit paste. And the template that we downloaded from the Google Drive should now be pasted in here. So what you wanna do next is go ahead and unzip that file. And you can do that by tapping it. So once that file is unzipped, you could go ahead and delete the zipped file. So just slide and then tap delete, hit OK. And what you want to do next is go into that new folder that you just unzipped. From here, we should have this folder that says custom with the dot theme extension at the end. What you want to do here is hit edit, tap the little dot and then hit move. Then what you want to do now is hit that back arrow and make sure you're in the themes folder. And once you're here, hit that bottom icon on the left, hit paste. This message shouldn't pop up, but since I already have the folder, that's why it's popping up. So I'm going to go ahead and hit replace. So you can now see that we have that dot theme folder inside the themes folder, if that makes sense. And uh, you could delete the old folder. So just slide and delete, hit OK. And just to double check, go into that dot theme folder, go into images and scroll down and make sure the images are in fact there. So once we see that the images are there, we could go ahead and get out of Fauza. We go up to the settings, go into tweaks, and then we look for the latest tweak, which is here. So once we're in the latest menu, we want to make sure that that theme tab is selected. Once you select the theme tab, go to select theme and the theme that we downloaded from the Google Drive should be in there. If it isn't already, make sure to go ahead and enable that. And once it is enabled, we could go back and we could go ahead and scroll down and tap right here to test out the keyboard. So our new keyboard should now pop up and it should be functioning properly. If we go ahead and go to the numbers window, we could see that it is aligned properly. And if you want to go ahead and check out the emojis, you can see that you will have a blue background now. So one thing to keep in mind is that you might have some issues with the keyboard in some apps, for example, Safari. If you go ahead and tap the search bar up at the top, we can see that this keyboard layout is a bit different. So a fix for that is downloading a tweet called Keyboard Controller. And what Keyboard Controller does is, is that it sets a default keyboard within applications that usually use a different type of keyboard layout. But yeah, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below or send me a DM either on Instagram or Twitter. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, peace.